Alright guys, so I just recorded this game, I played through the whole freaking thing, and it didn't record, so I'm we'll gonna talk about it a bit first before I actually like play through it again, so I can get the recording. Um, also I want to thank, I want to thank Lenar Mag Mangum, and I'm sorry if I'm like destroying your name, for recommending this game. Um, I don't think it's as good as the first one. For the main reason that the controls when I've changed it, like, there is no start button. But somehow on my controller, when I'm like smashing all the buttons, like intentionally, can't pause the game. And then randomly while I'm playing through it, it'll pause just randomly. I don't know what's going on with that. But I did find the English translation on a YouTube video. I'll link the YouTube video at the bottom. And if you want the game link, like where you can download the game, Hit me up in my email, I'll post it in the description if you're curious. And I'll send it to you if you hit me up on my email. Um, it is a pretty good game, it's not as bad, uh, it's not as good as the first one, by far. Like the racing game, like the reason I'm kind of drunk right now, is because the first racing game in this game tilted me so bad. But yeah, I'm about to speedrun this bad boy just so like I can get the gameplay footage. And hopefully it like, actually records this time because I'm doing it on a display capture instead of a game capture. Let me show you. I had 94% because I didn't get all the coconuts because there's a thousand coconuts, but I beat the game. It took me about two hours and 50 minutes. This time it's gonna be a lot shorter because I'm about to speed run this bad boy. God just fitted the plane with a new engine. Why don't we try it out? Come on, it'll be fun. Say, this looks like a good place to test it. You fly through each of the rings while I check to see if it's running smoothly. Keep an eye on the radar to see where the next cloud will be. As for the controls, press left to go left and right to go right. And now, dude, the best is when you press down the plane plane goes up. Pressing up will make it go down. Of course, it may be a bit tricky, but you'll get used to it. I'm like already used to that, to be honest. That just seems like second nature in any plane game. Because the controls always get inverted, it's not tricky <laughs> anymore. Granted, when this game first came out, it might have been tricky. Bro, I'm so tilted. Like, I played through this whole game, and I actually got triggered a lot, because like the first racing game's hard, and this game is like a lot harder than the first one. But it's not as, uh, the first, it's like the gameplay got like super innovative at points. The mini games were, uh, not the mini games, but like the extra stuff you did, like when the gameplay changed, like the Hydro Thunder stage was fun. It's not fun in this one. Like the extra stages were like actually my least favorite, to be honest, where you're like racing. I did not like that. It's not, it's not a bad game. I ragged on it so hard my first playthrough, so I'm kind of glad I get to redo it. And I won't have to do as much editing, but man, I was like drinking hardcore because I was just so tilted at this game, to be honest with you. Uh, just to keep it real. But it's not a bad game. It's actually pretty fun-ish. Not as fun as the first one. But yeah, it took me forever to figure out where the game actually was. And I don't know what the language is. I think it's Polish because it's PL, but it might be... Uh, I don't know. I don't know what else is PL. You guys know, let me know, but I think it's Polish. It never got translated, which is why I had to find the translation and find the game, which was actually kind of difficult. But I did it. It's all good. It took me a bit, but I got it. And I hope to... I hope it's recording this time. I will be so... Honestly, if it doesn't record this time, it's just not going to get played. Like, I'll... I'll explain what happened, but... Smoking, pal, you did great! Now, how about we take a look at that volcano over there? I want to see inside the crater. Go ahead, fly over it. And that is where our journey begins. Also, you remember how there was like a boss fight on every stage? Not in this. Oh, I forgot to fasten my seatbelt. Help me, Marina. <laughs> if anybody played, uh, what was that game? Mr. Makers. I know. You need at least 800 coconuts to beat the game, though. You can't. There's a thousand max, and there's 800 that you need, which is good. It's always good that this game has, like, an allowance for coconuts. Or, like, whatever you need to collect. Because it usually wants you to collect a crap ton, anyways, but 800 is not bad. I don't need to talk to him. I need to talk to the shaman. I know where I'm going this time. 
Also, you get a parachute in this one, it is not as good as your wing cap, not even close. This game's a lot less forgiving too, like water kills you instantly. When in the old one, you're like neck stretched until you couldn't like touch the bottom anymore and then you died maybe. But, I mean, the platforming kind of plays the same. Something that sucks though is that I can't use my control stick to navigate the screen. And I had to, I don't know, it's just, and I can't figure out what the pause button is on my controller. I have to use the escape key. And then sometimes it'll randomly pause when I'm doing stuff. Oh no, what a disaster. How will all this turn out? Lotek has disappeared and now frightful creatures are coming out of the volcano. Huh? Oh, welcome. It's nice to see you again, but wait. Is this your first time here? No. Do we know each other? Yes. Oh, no matter. We have to talk about Lotek as far as I can remember when he was a child. Wait, there's been an accident? Oh, this is terrible. Get to the point. Mr. Kangaroo here has no time to chat. Uh, yes, you're right. We must save Lotek. Now let's think. Wait, I know. Behind me is a weight inside the volcano. It hasn't been used in a long time, though. But it's simple to open. All you have to do is find four artifacts scattered somewhere around the island. I'm sure you're a clever one, so you'll manage. But just to make sure, how about you undergo a few tests first? Make your way to the training field to the right and come back with the glow worm you find there. Now, I've already been through the training field. Whatever. It's fine. I'm not going to go talk to the tree to figure out the tutorial controls because I already know the controls and it's pretty simple. You can figure it out yourself if you want. I'm just going to go do whatever I need to do. I don't need to talk to him. This is kind of like a speed run to an extent. Like I'm not good enough to speed run a game, but it's a speed run where I'm just going to like beat the game like as fast as I can. Also the health, how the health works in this game changed, which is kind of lame, but whatever. That's not the biggest problem I had with this game. Uh, the biggest problem was that one stage, bro. That sh ooh, it made me so mad. I promise you, it made me livid. Like, I wasn't even planning on drinking today. And I started doing that stage, and it made me so mad. I'll tell you when we get to that part, though. It pissed me off. So freaking mad. I wish you guys could, like, see the original playthrough, because I was so... Oh, I was so toxic, dude. Like, I actually made, like, a... Before I figured out it didn't record, I made a bit, like intro audio clip of like apologizing for the language of the video because I was so freaking mad that game. Like I slammed on my desk. I was so tilted. I promise you, I've never been so mad on this YouTube channel. I usually don't get mad, but that game oh, it was making me mad. Like the the enemy racers get like priority on bumping you, and they like I was it was my second time doing it. And they just bumped me to freaking Narnia, and I was so pissed. I was so mad. I probably oh, it was awful. But yeah, so it took me about three hours to beat the game when I didn't know what I was doing, and I was dying a whole lot. So this shouldn't take near as long. Now that I know what I'm doing. I will say the dynamite works better than the boomerang. The glow worm is hidden in the plant. Press attack to open it up. Also, one thing that sucks is there's not enough characters to have interactions with, like in the first one. So the comedy's not as good. Bravo, now return to the village. The glow worm will follow you there. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm kind of glad I don't have to do the editing anymore since I'm like restarting this video completely, but. That's one upside. I gotta look at the bright side because it's that actually, like, I took a break, drank some alcohol, and I was just like, bro, I'm pissed. <laughs> like, I'm just so pissed. <laughs> but you do have to have 200 uh, orbs per artifact. Per artifact. So. But yeah, you know how, like, in the first one, there was, like, always that enemy of the hunter? That's not in this. There's no, like, Continuous boss like they just kind of throw a boss in at the end you can really tell that the it just didn't seem like the creators of the game Tried near as hard as the people that made the it might be the same people, but whatever happened to make the first one Does not seem the same here Yeah 
Also, your melee attack is pretty much useless in this one. Like, you, there's no reason to ever do it. It usually gets you hit more times than it actually hits the enemy. So there's, like, really no reason to do it. It's like, except for, well, you can roll. Why would you ever, ever melee attack? You don't need to. Ever. Like, I can't think of one spot in the game where I was like, oh, I need, whoo, he almost killed me. There is some lava that will instant kill you. That's not it. But, like, oh my god, when I was fighting the final boss. Final boss is not hard. But he killed me like 40 times because I kept rolling into the lava because I'm dumb. Like I was pretty, I'm still pretty drunk. I'm probably going to drink more before this ends because this, I really don't want to play through it again. But Not because it's bad, just because I already beat it. But, you know, it's alright. It's alright. Like I said, I get to do it without the editing. I don't have to be as negative as I was the first time I played through it because I was really negative about this game for like a hot minute. I even apologized. I was like, the game's not as bad as I'm saying it is. <laughs> like, I'm just so tilted from that race. Like that race maybe, I hope I do that race on the first try. I think I will because I kind of know what I'm doing now, but it's just really dumb. Like, it's so dumb. And I messed that up, but it's okay. Speed run failed, restart button. <laughs> I will take a shot for every artifact though, because that's kind of like what I was doing when I was playing through it. But yeah. I do need to make sure I get enough coconuts for that. Like, after the first stage you get, like, more than enough coconuts, but you need to make sure you have enough for the first earth artifact, I think. Because I think that was one I barely edged out by the end of the run. But yeah. Because I think this stage only has 150 in it, so you gotta use the coconuts from the village as well. <laughs> and there were things that, like, took me a long time when I was doing the first play. Mother. There were things that took me a long time when I was first doing the playthrough because, uh, I just... Like, this game doesn't explain things very well. Like, there's a water... Thing that I was supposed to pick up, right? Oh, wow. Um, and like, it would have, uh, it looked like I was pretty much going to insta die if I do what I did, what I thought I was supposed to do. So I had to, um, basically just trust fate because I looked everywhere to see if there's like a button to help me with it, but there wasn't. So I just kind of like had to. Do a suicide jump and hope that the game would like forgive me, which it did. But there was no way for me to know it was gonna like forgive me for that. Or like that was supposed to happen. <laughs> that was. <laughs> As you can see, I'm probably not the most sober because I struggled on that part when I really shouldn't have, but. That's the biggest problem I have with this playthrough. That'll be good. I hope it records. I really do. Cause I'm not playing through it again. Two times is the max. Definitely in a game that's as long as this one. Really, there's no reason to kill the enemies in this. Besides them getting in your way. Because, uh... Yeah, you don't really get anything from it. You don't get upgrades like you did in the original. You get health back. If you don't fight them, though, you don't lose health. So what's the point? You know what I mean? There's really... Oh, yeah, you can't swim, so you gotta be careful about that water. Yeah. One of the things that really bothered me about this stage is that you can't swim. Or this new game, because, like, I really think you should be able to. Or, he didn't swim in the first one, he had, a, like, that long neck thing where he'd be walking on the bottom. I really think they should have kept that. I thought that was really cool. Oh, I need to do it all over again. Okay, cool. Whatever. So the parachute, when you get that, the problem with that is, is that if you touch anything, or if it even looks like you touch anything, your parachute will disappear and kill you so many times. It is awful. Not like, haha -ha awful, it's like, oh my god, I want to kill myself awful. <laughs> Not that bad, but exaggerating, of course. Oh, do 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 yeah, I hate having to re-record videos as well, because, like, you don't get that initial reaction of me, like, playing the game. And, like, what I, like, initially, like, my initial impressions of it. But, I pretty much told you all about the things I felt about the game. 
why I didn't like it compared to the other ones and or the first one and all that jazz. But like I said, it's not a bad game. Yeah, I don't even need to fight this dude. I fought this dude for a hot minute in my first play too. I'm not even gonna mess around with him this time. See you, dude. Pray for you. you. Gotta mess with kangaroos for some stupid ass reason. <laughs> or whatever. Also, these tents, they're dumb because they're the checkpoints, right? But they got this useless interaction and that's just stupid. And you have to touch the tent again if you want to, like, checkpoint again. Like, say I knock these things down, I have to touch the tent. It doesn't do any, like, interaction to let you know you touched the tent and resaved it. But you have to. If you don't, then it will just, like, pretend like you didn't checkpoint it again. Which is weird and annoying. I just... That got me a couple times when I was first playing through. Yeah, but this should not take me near as long as it did the first time. Like, I think the first time was about three hours. This one should take me, uh, I don't know, way less. It's probably like an hour and a half, maybe, to beat the whole game. And we're about done with this level. Have we got the Earth Artifact? Not yet, I gotta do that puzzle. There's only one puzzle in the whole freaking game, dude. <laughs> like, and it's right here, you'll see it. It's actually pretty, like, decent-ish. There's problems with it, for the sure fact that you can't... I'll show you. I'll tell you when I get to it. I'm kinda, like, talking ahead of the game. I'll wait till we get there and then I'll tell you why. Do, do. The music is still great in this game, but the soundtrack's good. I enjoy it. Alright, here's the puzzle. Let me get this. Also, I don't know why that's there. If you jump in there, you're just gonna hit by lava, so I don't know why that's there. It's basically to make it look like the crane game uses lava power to work. I don't know. Alright, we gotta touch this thing. This random freaking thing. And then you play the crane game. So what the problem with this is, your task is your task is a range of watch. Use the jump key to lower the arm. And then throw key to rotate. Good luck! So the problem is you have to start from top to bottom because this is not the one for the top but because like if you do the bottom first you can't see the top like the blocks will block you and you cannot rotate your camera which is really stupid oh it doesn't even go there anyways this goes over here This goes up there, I think. Right, one more turn. But yeah, this is like the only puzzle in the whole entire game, so... I actually thought it was really cool. I was like, oh, at least they got pretty cool puzzles in it. And then, it was all in <laughs> one. <laughs> Maybe I got this backwards, I don't know. We'll find out when I finish it. Not that big a deal. Is that right? Looks right. This goes here. Yeah, it lands up. We're good. We're good, boys. We did it. Might be the bottom one, actually. This is not the bottom one. One, two, three. Boom. There we go. Put it down. Honestly, the first time it didn't really take me a long time to figure out either. It wasn't a hard puzzle, but it was a cool puzzle, I thought. I liked it. But like I said, it doesn't matter what I liked. <laughs> Game creator said... Oh, uh, well, I'm not gonna cuss. I'm trying not to cuss, but like, the first time- Oh, wow. I've never done that before, but it was like, BOOM! Wrong! Alright. And we did it. Earth Artifact Acquired. There is no boss fight per stage. There's only one boss fight at the end, which was kind of disappointing. But you do need somebody- You need at least 200 coconuts per artifact. I need 42 left, but there's a lot still in the village. And there's still some more over here that I can get. So there's nothing to like threat, threat about too much. Where's the thing I opened? It's over here, right? Yeah, I think so. Yep. 
Now I can jump up and I can go over and do all that crazy crap. I need this thing. Come here. But yeah, I really wish I knew what the pause button was on my controller because like, I'd be doing random stuff when I first played through it and it just would not let me pause, which was really lame. I did not like that. Also on these blocks, you can only push them forward and back. So if you try to like hit the way you want them to go, it's you can only push forward and back. You gotta make a you gotta move around the block pretty much, which isn't that big a deal. It's pretty light, but it threw me off for a hot minute when I first started playing. I was just like, well, I'm gonna hold on to it and move it left, right, or whatever. But that's not how it works, unfortunately. Can I go this way. What's over here? Oh, that's where I came from? Okay. Let's see how many we got on this stage. 110 out of 150. We missed 40. I don't know where they're at, but I'm not looking for them either. Oh, well, there's some over here, actually, so that's probably where they're at. Yeah, so I don't know what the pause button is on your controller. It's escape on your keyboard, so I have to use my keyboard and my controller. Oh, I messed that up. I'm so dead. Probably. Nope, I'm fine. Good job, me. Alright, so we just need to get to the village and grab 20 more. I'm not gonna look for these last 30 freaking coconuts. Because I know for a fact there's at least 20 back here. And, like, when you get to the other stages, there's way more coconuts, so you don't have to worry about it. At first, I, when I first played through it, I was kind of like, Well, I need to make sure I get all the coconuts just to make sure I have enough to beat the game. But, there's plenty of coconuts on the farther stages in the game. Bro, so this dude is the one that gives you that first race and the playing fighting stage. The playing fighting stage isn't... Bad. It's just like tedious, but the first racing game he gives you oh my god, dude It's like a futuristic like circle tunnel thing where you have to steer and your controls will invert randomly it feels like because it At first I thought it was like if you're on the top it'll invert But if you start going around in a circle it just like continuously inverts it was so Oh uh, Like it inverts and reverts I guess would be what it does, but it's so annoying. I, I hated it. You'll see what I'm talking about. I'll probably struggle on it at first. I did learn it's just good to stay at the bottom and not go in a full circle if you can help it. But it's really hard to help it, to be honest with you. We're missing one coconut. Like, uh, the map's pretty... It doesn't have as many, like, different maps as it did in the first one, where you had, like, a snow map. You had that, like... Like, the scenery was, like, dynamic, and this is all island, pretty much, so... Nothing too unique. Man, I am not excited to go to that freaking stage. I'm telling you, dude, I hate it. I hated it. I'm sure I'll get that on the first try, though. I better get it on the first try. I'm going to start drinking again. Well, I'm going to take a shot anyways because I beat the first stage, but... Good! You've obtained the first artifact, and with all those orbs, you have everything you need to place it on the gate. Now for some magic. The magic. We're a fourth of the way through the game. I'm kind of glad that the Splendid! The first artifact is in place! No, no. What do you know? The shaman is quite capable after all. Well, once every 100 years or so. But yeah, so... What was I saying? Oh, I'm gonna take a shot. For sure. But, uh... Yeah, so at least the final level is just a boss fight. It's not like a platforming stage. Thank God. <laughs> I like how he tries to scare you when you're not moving him. He actually kind of got me one point because I was like taking my shot and he was like, Whoo! But he also jump ropes. Whoo! 
Uh, my throat sore from talking through two videos. The alcohol is burning my throat. Cleansing. The alcohol is cleansing my throat. I'm gonna do it with a freaking gadget's voice and the freaking gopher if I can help it. Well, howdy, y'all! <laughs> Alright. Huh! So, you want a paraglider, eh? I have one, sure, but I'll only give it to you if you beat me in a race. Oh, fuck. Okay. The rules are simple. Pass three laps, and whoever's in first place wins. Touch the green arrows to speed up and beware of obstacles and bumping into other racers. Yeah. Oh, I forgot her cute voice though, but the race lady for this has a really cute voice. I like it. I can dig it. Ooh. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. They get priority. But on the bright side, they don't get a speed boost from the green thing, so I guess it's kind of fair. Not really, but whatever. Pray. Pray for me. <laughs> Pray for my soul, because I'm about to get mad. Get out of my way! Oh, uh, see? Like that. I didn't hit a pause button. I promise you, I didn't hit anything that could pause the game. Oh, baby. So mad. I can't handle it. I can't handle it. I'm gonna break something. I can feel it in my bones. Like, I'm telling you, I cannot control the steering on this thing. Barely whatsoever. It's freaking painful. I hate it. I, he hates it! Boy, you don't let me in first. That's just what happened to my head. Uh, you give me first place or die. <laughs> give me the Necronomicon. <laughs> Be able to have reference for those that like that. Like me. He hit me, right? He should have bounced back like I did when I hit him, right? Yeah? Yeah? No, of course not. Why would it work that way? You let me in first place or die, you stupid silly bitch. <sighs> you see what I say about hating the game because it randomly pauses? Because there's literally no button I can hit on my controller to pause it. It'll just randomly pause. On stages like this, where I'm freaking tilted already. But, uh, whatever. You know, whatever. Come here, you fucker. Come here. Come here. Come to daddy. Oh, you. I am not gonna. See, like, I'm. Redo. Redo button. Can I redo? So pissed, dude. I cannot explain to you how mad this game makes me. This racing game is such a... Like, they want you to win because they leave the racers behind, but the fucking mechanics of it are bullshit. That's all I can tell you. It's freaking bullshit. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Like how that just turned into me? Motherfucking bitch. Oh, I'm so mad. I cannot tell you how fucking. It's making me race the whole thing out just to know that I lose. Because we're pretty much at the end. I. Okay. Go to V? Go to V U, bitch. Hmm. Pissed. Sorry for the language. But if you get a good lead at the start, they will never catch you for whatever reason. I don't know why it works like that, but it does. So I should win now. That's pretty much what had to happen the first time I beat it. I had to wait to get a lead, and then they just never caught up to me. They will not catch up to you once you get a lead, for whatever reason. I don't know why, but it's nice. I win this. Easy. But you have to get that lead first. Because if you don't, you'll exactly what just happened to me will happen to you. 
and it sucks. Because it literally takes three fucking minutes to finish this ring. Oh god, he actually caught me. That hasn't happened before. Uh, well, let me back in the lead, ball. Please, god damn it! Like, the thing is, they don't get the green power up, but they don't have to worry about the obstacles either, which I would gladly trade them. You can have the green power up, just don't let me get hit by the obstacles, and I will trade that any day of the week. Three days till Sunday, I promise you. But you, like, yeah, like last time I beat this, like I had a lead and they just never caught me even if I had an obstacle, but now they're just like, eh, that doesn't apply anymore. <laughs> like it felt like they wiped out somewhere and just never recovered, but somehow they did it this time. Whatever, I just gotta keep my speed pretty much. I like her voice though, for real. That shit's cute. I don't know what language this is. I think it's Polish, but her voice is cute. Ah, please. Oh. This is the worst part of the game for me, for sure. When the mini games, the last one, the Hydro Thunder stage, and the last one was my favorite part of the whole game, just about. And then this is just freaking beyond painful. It doesn't even make sense. Like, why are we in this futuristic bullshit on a freaking... The whole game stays on the freaking island except for this part. Like, it's just stupid. Like, why? Why would you go out of your way to change the setting for a game that sucks? Like, this sucks. There's no way the game creators didn't play this and think, Oh, this part of the game sucks. We should get rid of it. But instead, they just made it where the freaking AI sucks. And he caught me, and I'm screwed. <laughs> yeah, I literally don't know what they were thinking when they released this shit. Oh, I got lucky there. Am I not at the end yet? Like, for real? Where's the end at? Can we end this? Thank God. Oh, I still can't believe you managed to beat me. Oh, yuck. Oh, How did I lose? That shouldn't be possible. Well, anyway, as agreed. Here's the paraglider. To use it, press the action button. While in the air, to activate it. Okay, thank you. This is a paraglider. It is a piece of crap, and I hate it. Oh, okay, detail Cameron. Or, yeah. My name is Cameron, by the way, if you didn't know that already. I've said it a few times in videos, but my name is Cameron. But I need a detail. <laughs> That's what the point of that was. Because last time I tilted on that game, I did not detail and I raged at this game for like the whole rest of the game. Well, not the whole rest of the game. Until I pretty much got to the water sta fire stage. <laughs> Let's correct ourselves. Yeah, I was pretty, I was pretty upset. This game made me really mad. Please let it record. I'm just, like, I missed that jump because I was just worried about it recording. <laughs> Cause I will not play through this again. And I'll be so salty if like, we're out. What the f- mm. You know how I said in the first one, like that the game had like really good like um forgiveness for when you were like trying to make a jump and stuff this does not have that this that does not exist in this one at all also this part threw me off really hard as well because i thought you had to hit like the skulls or like maybe those symbols but you really just have to hit the door so i don't know what the skulls and the symbols purpose is I don't think there is a purpose to them, except for, like, looking cool. But don't let that throw you off. Just throw the freaking barrel at the door. Like this. That's all you gotta do. And then these guys are freaking jerks. You pretty much have to have dynamite to hit them. But at least the dynamite respawns pretty frequently. It's not hard to get dynamite. As long as you've been to an area with dynamite. 
You want to see a part that took me really long to figure out for no reason? These statues, you can move them. I didn't notice the handles on them, so it took me a little bit to figure out that you have to move them. Which is kind of lame, but whatever. You gotta do what you gotta do. To survive. The reason why I'm doing it like this is because I think I can make that middle platform and I'm trying to reach the um, other end afterwards. I can just kind of like progress without having to worry about moving them again. Maybe with the paraglider. I don't know. This might backfire like ethically, but it's better than if it works, it'd be better than having to move it twice. If it doesn't work, then I just wasted time pretty much. This would be a good game for a speedrunner, though, because there is a lot of things you can do to speed up the playthrough if you're good at it, which I am not. I am not that person that is good at it. Motherfuck. So my plan pretty much worked. The only problem I had was, well, I need to get these three orbs anyway, so I didn't really mess up. I just needed that to be a little bit closer. That's all I messed up on. I didn't mess up on the thought pattern I had. I messed up on the... Placement just a wee bit. My room is hot as motherfucker. Like it's oh, excuse the language. It's hot in my room. God dang. Excuse me, by the way. I think I just burped. I don't know. Kind of like drunk. I was just like tipsy earlier, but now I'm drunk for sure, hundred percent. After I started bombing the shots after the game didn't play through right the first time. I was like, go up. <laughs> Bottoms up, boy! So, that's where I'm at. I hope everyone's having a fantabulous weekend, though. I'm actually pretty excited because after this, I'm gonna play Total War, and I haven't got to play it all week, and I'm pretty excited because I'm close to the end of the game. So I wanna get there. If possible. I don't know if I can make that jump, but I hope I can! Why did you pause? Why are you trying to exit the game, you stupid bitch? <laughs> like the fuck? So my plan did work, so you can't do it like that. I would've just placed the one right the first time. Like I said, I don't know why it pauses. I've hit every little button on the controller. But sometimes it'll just randomly pause when I'm trying to do something important, which is actually really tilting. And there is no pause button on the controls that you can change that I know of. It doesn't say pause or like anything like that. So this part, I <laughs> I did it. I like completed it, but I didn't do it the right way. But I'm gonna show you the wrong way to do it because it's more fun that way. Oh, never mind. Duked him. Nah, I'm gonna do it the wrong way anyways. So they'll start swinging at you. Oh, I fucked up real bad. Ooh. I don't know why it's pausing. I think- Oh, I'm clicking my controller stick. That's why it's pausing. But yeah, I did this wrong the first way as well. Because <laughs> yeah. I was just like, why would I wait to see if they're like... Oh, why do you- They did that in the last time too. They hit me during the cutscene. It's a real dick move. But like, yeah. <laughs> You just gotta run around them. The first time I tried to sneak at first and then they caught me, so I was just like, ah! But not this time. I know that's the best way to actually do it, to be honest with you. And then we rise! I don't wanna wait for my rise to get colder. There's nothing else back there. I looked last time, I was like, oh, did I miss something? No, I didn't. I wish I could skip this animation, it's so stupid. Like, it's nice once, like, I've seen it once, I don't need to see it every freaking time he takes a nap in the freaking tent, dude. Like, I really don't, <laughs> like... 
just don't. That's a minor complaint though, for real. That's not that big a deal, but still, I wish I could skip it or like not have it at all. Like, I think the game, this series is overrated overall, but I can really see why this one didn't get translated or like released on a wide scale. I can really see that. I don't remember what. Oh, yeah, I need to actually kill this dude because he's blocking the thing. So, this is how you kill this dude right here. You dodge his first attack, but you gotta actually run because the splash in this game is ridiculous. Forgot about that. Yeah, you just run around, you get him to do his attack, you aim, and then you hit him in the eyeball like twin times. Damn. Aha! You missed somehow. Good for me. I was lucky. Okay, we did it. Hooray! Give me that. You gotta be very careful with your aiming because sometimes you'll hit trees and then you gotta walk all the way back, which is really annoying actually. So at first, <laughs> I thought you just jumped into the hole, but you do not do that. You activate your parachute and you get a glide. Like that killed the crap out of me almost. Like I had like one heart left after I hit it like three times. I was like, <laughs> what was I singing? It was a Creed song. It was, uh, God. Oh, can you take me higher? <laughs> To a place where I'm not getting burned. <laughs> oh, it was fun. I had fun with that part. But you'll never get to see it because the game didn't record and hopefully it recorded this time because if not, well, too bad for me. And for people that like these videos because I'm not playing through it again. There's no way. I'll feel bad because I did tell that dude. I told Mangum I tried to play through it. But man... I'm not playing through it three times. I hope it actually records. This part's actually kind of hard too. I hope I do it on the first try, but I doubt it because it's actually semi-difficult. Because what happens is if you don't have your pair... Yeah, it's clicking my controller. That's what's doing that. Good to know. But, yeah, if you don't hit... If you hit the clouds while your parachute's out, sometimes you don't get the balance off the clouds. But you gotta use your parachute to get to the clouds, so you can just, it's, it's more difficult than it's about to look if I do it right the first time, I promise. It's not as easy as I make it look if I do it the first time. If I don't do it the first time, it's just as hard as it looks like. Okay, we got 200, that's good enough. Let's get these just in case, because I know I didn't get the, all the village ones. Alright, there is a cloud over here that just doesn't move. There it is. Pro tip, look for the cloud that doesn't move. So then you gotta go over here, and then you rise! Rice! Can you take me higher? Yeah, see, I made it look easy. It was not easy when I first did it, I promise. Also, at certain parts, it will let you fully clear the stage without getting the relic, so be careful of that. You're like, you'll be like, oh, I'm back at the start, I did so good, but then you don't have the relic, so that's something you must be very wary of. And if you die without hitting a checkpoint, you're so screwed, <laughs> let me just tell you that. You will be restarting the game, or restarting from that point where you last saved. You won't have to worry about the coconuts again, but you have to do everything else again, which is super lame. Pretty much everything. I think there's like... I don't think you have to get the relic again, maybe? Something like that. There's like a little thing you don't have to do again. Yeah, you see how melee attacks suck in this game? I'm gonna die because I'm trying to melee attack this dude. They suck. And then you have to get 30 little hearts to make one big heart. Or you can get a big heart, but there's a rare... A rare commodity, for sure. I need to save. Here we go. I save checkpoint. 
Like, it's a cute animation, but damn, that gets annoying after, like, the 30th tent. There's not that many tents, but after so many tents, that gets annoying, I promise you. And I swear, by the moon and stars in the sky, that shit gets old. <laughs> but you see how there's like an excess of coconuts in every stage except for the first one? Like I got enough for this stage and then some. I might have just died. Okay, I made it. Woo. I thought I died last time I did that, to be honest with you. <sighs> Let's see. Let's hope I can hit these with my dynamite. I figured out after I did it last time that I could hit them with my dynamite. So, I'm yeah, good. Because they killed me once and I got really tilted. Screw sure you, dude. Like, oh, for real, screw you. But yeah, the game's not too hard. Definitely after you- oh. After you know what you're doing, but... Your first playthrough, you're probably gonna get a little bit tilted. If you play through it. If you play it. Like I said, if you need the web- if you need the website that gives you the game, just hit me up. I'll send you an email. Or, just hit me up in my email and I'll respond. Because I don't want to put that stuff on my YouTube and then get the game removed after somebody did all that work to make it for you guys. For everybody, for me, for everybody. So I don't want to screw them over. Which is not how I roll. Personally. Yeah. Not how I roll. Uh, this part sucked last time. Let's see if I can make it. I made it last time, but yeah, we did. Cool. Come on, drop, drop, drop! <laughs> Scared me last time, too. <laughs> but yeah, if you get hit, your parachute just freaking leaves you, dude. You're just stranded. Without a care in the world. I'm so... Ah! <laughs> uh, piss. Okay. Let's go! Let's ride! Sorry for my next shot, to be honest with you. So excited, and I just can't hide it. I'm about to lose control, and I think I like it. The Pointer Sisters, if you're curious who sings that. Don't you freaking hit me. Okay, cool, we made it. Probably. Yeah, we're going pretty quick. Like, it's going pretty high. Right. We already got one relic, we're about to get the second one. And I think the final boss will go super quick because I know not to roll into the lava, which I should have already knew, but like your roll is pretty hard to control when you're like in close quarters. Definitely when that's like one of the moves you need to kill the person. But yeah, you gotta be careful about that. Have I got the artifact yet? I think I already got it. I don't know why I'm messing with this stuff. Yeah. I'll see y'all on the flip side. 100%. Not messing with y'all anymore. I was getting the coconuts, but I think I have more than enough for the next stage, because this next stage has more than this stage does. So, I don't know why I'm even worrying about it that much. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Hi, puppy. What's that from? It's from, uh... Uh, frick. Something Miami. Miami was the heat is on all night to bring to I'm welcome to my heat is on the young. I don't know, it's a Will Smith song. Can't remember the name. Something Miami. 
<laughs> is it called Miami? That might be what the song's called. Alright, two relics down, two more to go. Last but certainly not least. Good! You obtain the win artifact! You've got all that is needed to place it on the gate! Now for some magic! It's very magical! <laughs> Time for another shot. Hey, you succeeded again! Not bad! You've earned a few points! Hey, come on, I'm trying my best. You're not very being very nice, you know. I changed his voice, but that's because I was pouring a shot, and then they started talking again, and I was not ready. I was not ready. He wasn't ready! Alright, our final character in the game, besides the dude that fell into the volcano like the dumbass he is. The dude's been a dumbass since game one, if that's the same dude. Like, he just, he's so dumb. But we love him, though. <laughs> this part's really hard. I didn't really like it either. I thought it was like... I was praying for like a Hydro Thunder stage, and this is kind of it, but it doesn't play like it like it did in the first one. It doesn't even play close to it. Uh, I've known you for a while now, so I'm going to confess something. There's a famous coach of motorsports on this island. Want to know who it is? It's me! How about I teach you, friend? Steer through the course and go through each of the beacons. Keep an eye on the radar to see where the next one will show up. Pressing the action button makes you go faster, but this stranger meter quickly. Picking up power-ups will we feel it, so don't miss them. This is the first stage, but it's simple. Good luck. Oh, I know why I was struggling. Wow, I'm dumb. Okay. So the reason I struggled on this the first time is because I wasn't holding the up key to go forward. I was just kind of like using the R key, but I used the R key the whole way and won. Because you can tap it and you don't lose boost. <laughs> so, uh, that's why I was struggling. This is actually a cool minigame then. When I first played through it, it was not a cool minigame, but now I understand how it works, so it's not bad. I did not think about holding forward for whatever reason. Even though that's what you have to do in the first mini game, you have to hold forward. But in this one, I didn't even think about it. But see, that's what I was doing. I was just holding, hitting the RB button because it gives you a little boost, even if you don't have any. So, pro tip. You made it to the second stage. Not bad, my friend. Now it'll be a little bit more difficult. So, like, I had to memorize how the stage exactly went to beat it the first time. When you get to the super hard stage, I had to, like, actually memorize, like, where the things were going to spawn. Because if you went the wrong way, you automatically lost, which I think this might be the same way. But it's nice to know that you could just hold the forward key for sure. Because it's definitely faster than just tapping the boost key over and over again. You're almost there. However, it'll be more difficult this time. Don't forget to pick up those power-ups. God damn. I went the wrong way already. But at least I don't have to pause, worry about pausing the game anymore. Wait, why did that just happen? I 
guess I accidentally clicked it, I don't know. I'm not going over there. I already know I failed. Fail me! I remember where the things are, that's why I need to do. All you have to do to beat this stage is remember where they're gonna spawn, because they will spawn in random places. I messed up. Oh well. Oh well. Mm, this actually didn't fix it, so I don't know. Oh, whatever. Whatever, whatever. I ain't worried about it no more. I don't care. To be honest with you, I just don't care anymore. I don't know where it's going to go next. Over there. There she blows! Mess that up, for sure. I think I was just supposed to take the ramp there, but I didn't do it. Oh well. Thank God. Congratulations! You've proven your skills on the water. Well, I wouldn't go Commodore or Cruise Line or anything, but still, not bad. Thanks, man. I guess. You Okay, whatever. We did it. Hooray. Like I said, the mini games are the worst part of this game. The platforming's not too bad. Plays pretty much similar to the first one, not as good, but similar. But the mini games are awful. They're not anywhere close as good as the first ones. Don't look at me, you freaking turtle thing. Okay, cool. I'm not trying to fight you. I'm just trying to get these orbs. We only have to get three more artifacts, or two more artifacts. We're doing this, like, super quick, though, to be honest. Compared to my first run through. Okay, I might die here. Okay, there we go. We made it. Thankfully. That full heals you, which is really nice. I thought I only did one bar, but it actually does more. Yeah. Y'all wanna fight? I'm gonna fight you. Like, I don't know how you thought you were gonna start running after you chased me all the way over here, but... Yeah, that was not the answer. X and Y does not always equal Z, you stupid monsters. X and Y sometimes equals your dad. <laughs> like, that's what it equals, because he pissed me off. I don't think I even need to mess with that. I don't even know why that's there, to be honest with you. I don't think. I don't remember why it's there. Oh, so I was supposed to hit something from afar. Let's see. Yeah, I do. I have to hit that thing over there. I know what's there now. Why are we missing like this, dude? Watch this. Sniperino. Wait, that... Oh my god, I'm dumb. Okay. I'm dumb. Ignore me. I'm drunk, I don't know what I'm doing. Ignore me. <laughs> Jesus. I really thought that barrel had a purpose though, but it really doesn't, I don't think. Unless I'm missing something. <sighs> you too. Please be recording game. Oh my gosh, if you're not recording, I beat this whole thing again. I'm gonna be so fucking pissed. I tell you what. Weekend will be ruined. <laughs> I'll be so pissed. Cause I if I I don't know if this records if I'll release a video today. Cause I don't know. But I really want to play Total War and I'm not good enough at that game yet to do videos on it. I would like to do videos on it, I'm just not good enough yet. If I was good at it, I would record videos. Because I actually do enjoy that game a whole lot. Because I am a huge Warren Kingdom buff, like, of China. I'm a big, uh, Sekigahara, like, battle Japanese fan, too, when they were, like, in their medieval arc. But, Warren Kingdom, 
there's the Warrior Kingdom arc, and then there's the Warring States arc. The Warrior Kingdom arc, I think, I, I think of the Romance of the Three Kingdoms for that. And then for the Warring States, I would consider that more the war that happened before that between the Ken, Key, and all that stuff. That's basically what the anime uh, kingdom is about. But I consider that the Warring States arc. And then I consider the Warring Kingdom arc. Um, the Romance of the Three Kingdoms era. That pretty much Dynasty Warriors follows. If you were curious, I'm just kind of giving like useless information right now. But I am a big buff on that stuff though, I really love it. Like something I'm really, I really enjoy learning about. Because all the characters are larger than life, even in like the... Pretty much in all of the errors I just mentioned. I don't know if they were like that big, I doubt. I, I'm sure they're hyped up more than they actually... Their prowess was in real life, but still, they were some cool cats. Except for Lu Bu. I believe that Lu Bu was actually 100% the badass that everybody describes him as. Lu Bu was the sh He's dumb. He's dumb. He's a dumb character, but I like him. Dumb, but interesting. Let's put it that way. I like, I like Lu Bu. He's cool. I can dig it. Who doesn't like Lu Bu, is the question. I'm sure you don't like Lu Bu if you had to fight against him, but if he's on your team, though. Let's, let's talk about that. Let's talk about if he's on your team. <laughs> the battle is no longer fair for the enemy. Surrender or die. Yeah, these symbols really mean nothing. The yin-yang symbol, all the symbols that you see on things, they really don't. Because some of the things you can interact with, some of them you can't. That just happened to be one where you can interact with it. I'm going to edit out all these John scenes because they pissed me off so bad. I won't do it because it's a lot of work for myself, but... <laughs> Oh, if, I, if it could be edited out before I played with it, that'd be cool. Too late for that, but, you know, I would enjoy that. Yeah. 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 Hit the damn thing, dude. Give me that ammo back. I just released a parachute just to make sure I'm being as safe as possible because you can't trust this game. I can trust the first one. I didn't have to worry about that stuff too much, but in this one, you gotta be careful. Sometimes you cannot trust the game <laughs> to let you live when you should, or you feel like you should anyways. First one had like a lot of uh, forgiveness for mistakes. This one does not have that. What the, oh, the spikes, I forgot about those already, to be honest with you. Wow, we're almost done with this game for real. We're like over halfway now. The fire stage ain't that bad either, to be honest with you. Like once you get past the maze, the maze, the maze stumped me up pretty good, and it was my fault. Well, it wasn't really my fault. I think it's supposed to stump you up like a bit. You're supposed to die there, but like I could have finished it faster if I would have thought about it. So this part threw me off a lot too. And I'm gonna tell you exactly what you need to do because this part threw me off really hard when I first played through it. So apparently, which I didn't know, you could throw dynamite from the box, and if you exit the box box in this area, then you will sink into the water and die 100% of the time. Because apparently, these eyeballs somehow control the platforms, so you have to kill them first. If you don't do it, they will somehow drop the platform and kill you. 
And I know it hit me a lot there, that's just because I don't care and I'm kind of trying to do this fast. But, yeah, you just kill them and then you move on, pretty much. And hope you don't fall into the water. And hope they don't kill you somehow. But they hit the same place every time. Because they don't register that... Oh, I'm dumb. Oh, whatever. Fuck it. And somehow your auto-aim already works in the box, so you don't have to worry about actually aiming it. So that's good. But if I get hit one more time, I'll have to redo this whole part, which would be very lame. How lame? Very lame. Careful. I don't know where he's shooting at. Where's the dude over here? Is he dead? What happened to him? Man, if I die because I jump out, I'm gonna be pissed. Alright, I guess he just rando died because he's. There's supposed to be one over there, too. I don't know exactly what happened to him, but whatever. I ain't mad about it. I gotta be careful about that spot. Next one he shoots, I'm going. Ooh, he almost got me. Alright, that's all you have to do for this part, but it actually tripped me up really hard the first time I played it, because it did not explain why the water level kept sinking. Which was really annoying. I promise you, it is really annoying. Alright. I'm gonna grab these orbs just... I don't think I need them, but I just don't want to redo stages, to be honest with you. Like, I'm pretty sh I'm like almost 100% positive I don't need them. But better safe than being a retard yeah. about it. You're not making fun of retards, just like better safe than being intentionally dumb. Let's put it that way. Retard was a bad word to use there. <sighs> All right. So this is the next part that tripped me up a pretty good bit, because... The thing is, this happens, watch this, this thing will spawn, and all the water platforms will go away. So what I was trying to figure out is how to make the water platforms rise back up before getting it. But you know, you don't need to do that. All you have to do is get the water thing. And then all the platforms will rise back up, so I don't even know why they added that in. But it threw me off, because I was like, Oh, there's gotta be a reason why they lowered the platforms, I gotta figure that out so I don't die, right? Nope. Wrong. Wrong again, Ricky Bobby. Yeah, really? Just gotta go there and get that water thing, and you're good. It took me forever to see- I missed that pedestal too that you have to jump on to like make it come down or come up from the water. So I was like, where's the water thing at? I did all this crap, where's it at? Because I need it, so I can advance. But there was a platform the whole time I was supposed to bounce upon, and I didn't know. But like I said, this isn't a bad game. It's just not as good as the first one. The first one really spoiled me. That was like the best Steam 3D platformer I've ever played. This one is not the best 3D platformer I've ever played. If you're curious. Gotta be careful here, I don't wanna like miss it. Hooray! Maybe I'll have more uh, coconuts this time so I can actually like see if the coconuts are what affected my percentage because I only had 94% when I completed the game, got the credits and all that. I think it was the coconuts because I was missing like a hundred of them. I think it was like 150 coconuts I was missing, so I think I'll have more this time, or less, and then I can tell if that's what was affecting the percentage. I think I'll have more though, to be honest with you. Because even though I'm not going out of my way to get everyone, I know where everyone is, pretty much. I about missed that jump so bad. But we made it, so we don't have to worry about that, thank goodness. 
Only one more artifact to go. Hooray. So excited. And I just can't hide it. I said that already. I'm about to lose control and I think I like it. <laughs> I'm gonna finish it at least. Might have said it already, but I'm finishing it. And I pause somehow. Because I thought I moved it to my right control stick, but I'm definitely not hitting that because it doesn't work. Whatever, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. I'll see y'all on the flip side. Water stage. Let's see if we got them all. I think we did. Yeah, we did. Good job, us. Yeah, we have way more coconuts than we had the first time for sure. Because I did not get all the coconuts on that stage last time. Let's do our. Let's start pouring our shot. We can't do it until we talk to the shaman. It's sick. Probably. I haven't drank in so long because I haven't drank since I started working. Been trying to go to the gym, get back in shape and whatnot. I haven't really had time for it. Uh, the water artifact is ours, and you found enough orbs in order for us to use it. Now for some magic. Hit him with that magic, son. I'm gonna do my shot while this is happening. The third artifact is in place while we're practically ready now. May I remind you, we still need one more. You always forget these sorts of things. What kind of shaman are you? We're under attack. Which means we need to go talk to Gadget to get our airplane back. I was going to do my shot and then they start talking again. I'll be right back. I'm going to do my shot real quick. Excuse the slurping noises. I'm a little bit saucy. But yeah, we were doing this a lot faster than I did the first time. I'm pretty freaking sure. Up gadget. I'm glad you're here. Finally, I succeeded. And as you know, the oil prices have gone up very high recently. I'm breed on the plate engine, and now it runs on gas. It's cheaper and more ecological. Now, anyhow, the village is in a state of emergency, so I supplied the plane with additional weapons. Use any of the attack buttons to shoot. Now, quickly get in the plane and let the warrior's instincts go through you. I don't remember how the gopher voice went exactly, but I remember it being super redneck, so that's what you're getting from me. <laughs> uh, this part is not hard. It just is so tedious. I prom it is so tedious. You just fly around and shoot pretty much. The missiles are pretty much homing, so you don't have to do anything too special about it. But you have to kill like seven, at least like 14 planes pretty much. And they come in waves, and they're annoying, it takes forever. Come back, baby. Baby, come back. You can blame it all on me. I was wrong. And everything about you. Baby, come back. I'm just a fool. Do -boo. I don't remember how this song goes. It's been a while. I just remember it says, baby, come back. Any kind of fool could see I was wrong. Something, something, something. <laughs> I don't know where you thought you was going, but you're gonna catch these rockets and you're gonna go down into the island, and I'm missing. Don't be dodging me, dude. Not cool. I'm too close to him. I need to, like, zoom out, zoom back in. I'm wasting time. Baby, come back. You can bring it on me. Alright, come here. I should have killed him. Yep. That was the last one at. Come here, you ding dong. Peace. Alright. 
Two more waves to go, I think. Two or three. You gotta be careful because your plane runs out of fuel. I never ran out of fuel when I first did it, so I, I think you'll be fine, but you gotta be careful about that. Yeah, I think there's like two more waves. Like, I didn't get hit the whole time though, so I don't think you have to worry about that too much. Like, their machine guns I don't think can even hit you. It just, you're, you run out of fuel. I think your health's the bottom bar, and then your fuel is the top left, from what I'm thinking. And you have unlimited ammo, so you just shoot them to death. That went well. And then seven more planes will spawn out of the nothingness. The great blue nothing. I think we have one more wave, because these are only five. I think there's like one wave where there's like seven of them. Maybe it's my health bar. I don't know. I don't know what the top left is, to be honest with you. It's your health bar. Top left's your health bar. It's not your full. Okay, so they do hit you. I've taken a lot more damage than I took the first time, and I'm not doing it near as fat or near as slow. But you can get hit, apparently. Doesn't really matter, but just for your knowledge. I think we got one more group to do, and then we're good. Then we can do the fire stage. Fire stage isn't that bad. It's probably actually my favorite one, to be honest with you. Which is surprising, because usually that's like the hardest one, but... Nope, it's not. It's pretty, not, it's pretty chill in this one, to be honest with you at all. 100% disclosure. Not that bad. Oh, they're killing me. I would hate to die on this. I'd be so tilted. They're killing me, though. I need to be careful. I need to be a little bit more cautious with my health bar, for sure. Then we go down, and then we go back up, and then we hit him with a Rudy Tooty aim and shooty, baby. Y'all ain't ready for the Rudy Tooty aim and shooty. I already know. Been saving this move for since the first playthrough. You're about to get that Rudy 2D aim and shooty, my dude. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm on you like white on rice, my dude. Ha <laughs> Unless you're brown rice, and then there's not as much white on it, but you're not brown rice because I'm gonna kill you. Okay, he almost killed me, <laughs> but I won! There better not be another wave. I think that's it. Uh oh. Well, I guess we're okay. <laughs> I was about to say, I guess we're screwed because I don't think I'll survive another wave. <laughs> like I said, that part's not hard, it's just tedious. Literally, if I was playing it right, I wouldn't have struggled there. Now we just go into the well. I could have asked the shaman about it. If you're confused on where to go, talk to the shaman, he'll tell you where to go. But I'm not confused. I know I've played through this, I know where to go. So once I get these 200 orbs, I can kind of just end the game. Once I get the artifact at the bottom. I will die getting the last artifact though because there's a maze and you kind of got to know where you're going to like <laughs> win it because it can insta kill you a lot. Well not insta kill, but it will kill you. You're pretty much screwed if you don't do it right. Oh, this is some music dude, but YouTube does not allow that sort of that tomfoolery. You will not listen to music on YouTube. At least on Twitch they mute it, but I got to listen to it while I was playing it at least. I guess I could do the same thing if I had YouTube streaming, maybe. I don't know. I really don't know how the YouTube streaming actually works, to be honest with you. God damn it, dude. Oh, I'm pissed. Hmm. 
That's what I hate about the parachute. It does not work near as good as the freaking wing cap did. Because if you, uh, it doesn't like really pick up like it's supposed to. It doesn't feel like. And then, uh, it just like, if you, uh, if it looks like you touch anything, you're pretty much gonna lose it. Am I supposed to go here? This way? Oh yeah, baby. We're supposed to go this way. Yeah, I didn't spend near as much time fighting monsters as I did the first time because I... Like, I remember the first one actually gave you rewards for fighting the monsters. Not this one. That is not a thing anymore. Sadly. It should be. But it's not. Fluffy, you're missing all the orbs. Yeah, but I already pretty much have enough. Ah, oh, what a throw. Overthrew it a little bit. Let's try this again. Oh my god! Okay, sorry. Now calls kicking in. Give me that. What's the difference between that full power throw and the other full power throw? I don't know. But there was a difference. According to the game. No! Oh! Yeah, got it. You took a nap in a tent in a very dangerous spot. You fucking dicks! What's wrong with y'all? <laughs> Stop trying to kill me! Fucking assholes. I don't have any dynamite. Oh, I remember this part. So you're really supposed to go the other way first. I'm gonna kill these dudes because they're being jerks. So you're really supposed to go the other fir way first to get the dynamite and I completely forgot. Oopsie. Whoopsie! Watch this. Scoop in the bush. Got them both. <laughs> Give me that health pack. Alright, let's grab this dynamite, boys. And we gotta push this thing in. I forgot about that. Push it. Yeah. We did it. I wonder how long this is taking us. We might be on world record pace, boys. Because <laughs> I don't think many people have played this game. World record place declared here. And we'll put in my tags and everything. And people will be like, wow, this took you so long to do it. And I'll be like, doesn't matter, world record pace. For now. If you want to beat my pace, hit me up for the game link and I'll send it to you from my email. Oh, well, that was not supposed to happen. Let's see. Can I not hit that thing anymore? Oh, this sucks. Okay, let's re aim this bad boy. Also, you can use your tail kick to get additional, or keep your height longer if you don't have your parachute. But that doesn't last very long because you get your parachute pretty quickly, in my opinion. Happen here. Hit this. Hit it. Whew, I can feel the alcohol. It's creeping up on me. Like death. Like for real. Oh my god. See how I ran into that tent just to make sure I saved? Smarts. That's the smarts right there. Okay, 
I'm not supposed to go this way. What's the way I'm supposed to go? Over here. Okay, cool. Raise me up! Can you take me higher? <laughs> Watch this, you got like Chris Kyle this thing, or uh, Hathcock. Hathcock this thing, Carlos Hathcock. Greatest sniper in American history. Boom, babe. What the f <laughs> Okay, let's try this again. I had this on the first try last time. Apparently not Carlos Hathcock, if you're curious. There we go. No! <laughs> Okay, so this is the final part, right? So what you got- Oh, you fucking did. So what you gotta do here is... You have to rotate the platforms. Where all the blue symbols are matching up. Which isn't hard. I just didn't know what to do when I first did it. And it's pretty obvious, too. It's not that big of a deal. I think I died once, because I didn't know. Well, that's what you do. But what you gotta remember is, you see how they have openings on them? You need to remember that for your maze. Because if you don't, boy, let me tell you, you're about to get screwed. <laughs> like, for real. Those openings are very important, let me tell you that. But on the inner, like the innermost, or the outermost ring, pretty much, you can't see where the openings are, so. There's only one opening, it would seem. And if you don't find it, you're screwed. That's, you already know. I already told you. Screwed. Because once you grab that, the lava starts rising, and you have to run, baby, run! Slam jam. See, right here, I could look at the maze, but I'm dumb, so I'm not going to. <laughs> Did these orbs, though. I kind of want some of them, at least. For my, uh, just to know what my percentage would be if I had greater orbs. That's the only reason I'm getting them, to be honest with you. I just want to make sure that's what's affecting my orb count. Or my percentage count as orbs. Because if there's something I'm actually missing, then I'll have to figure it out. But... It's just the fact that I don't have as many orbs, that's fine, I don't care. Because like, in the first one, you don't really get anything for having extra orbs that I know of. Plus, we got some spare time, because I've done the rest of the game super quick, in my opinion. World record pace, 100%. Show me a YouTube video where they did it faster than me. JK. The only one I saw was one that wasn't translated, so... I'm an idiot. It's alright though. At least I got full health now. Which is, wait, where am I? Okay, I know where I'm at. I'm fine. That's fine. I think I still have to break it one more time, but whatever. Maybe I don't. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. No, I don't. Okay, we're good. Do I have to reorganize that thing though? I don't think I do. Yes, I do. God dang it. My bad, guys. I apologize. But I did get all the orbs, so. Let go of it. Please let go of it. It's my fault, but let go of the fucking thing, dude. It is very delayed on how long it takes him to let go of the fucking thing. Oh, pissed. Drunk pissed. Jesus. Don't have the patience. 
Let's go do the maze now. Let's do it to it, baby. Let go of the... Well, I could make a path right now, right? I could. I need to actually leave it that way, I think, because I think the... Let go of the fucking thing, dude. Like, why... Patience is, uh... Unraveling at the seams, it would seem. One good thing is, is once you get the artifact, it already saves for you, like a checkpoint. That's nice. Alright, and away we go. Let's see if I can remember this maze good enough to survive. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, I think I remember how it goes. It's not too hard. Once you've done it once, you pretty much know. Nope. Not yet. So you pretty much follow this third one to the end here, and then you take a left. Right there. And then you just double back. And then you find the way out. Pretty easy, right? Because I actually had to do this part like four times the first time to figure it out, to be honest with you. But it's still rising though, so you need to make sure you get to the parachute glide part, because if you don't, you will die. Still. Hey, at first I was like super scared it was going to catch me, but it doesn't. It does Why would you like- What the f- Yeah, I don't know what happened there. He just let go of the parachute. That normally does not happen, but you never know in this game. Sometimes he just lets go of the parachute for no reason. Which is lame. But yeah, I'll never catch you as long as you got your parachute out anyways. And this is the last stage of the game, besides the boss fight. The boss fight's not hard either. It's the only boss fight in the game, which is kind of sad. Compared to the first one, there was a boss fight like every stage. And all of them had like really interesting mechanics where you had to actually like figure it out. This game, not so much. For whatever reason. I don't know why. But... I will say they improved on the dynamite though, because the dynamite's actually better than the boomerang by far. I remember that being kind of annoying in the first one, was using the boomerang, but everything else they kind of, like, made worse. And Cal's, like, model seems a little bit better. I like his little outfit in this one. Kind of cute. He's got, like, the metal gloves, that's pretty dope. And you can pick up the orbs you missed on your way down. Well, I wouldn't recommend it. But who knows when your parachute will just give out on you. Alright. Let's talk to the shaman while we pour shot. Well, we'll do the shaman then pour shot. It's safer that way. The final artifact! Great work! Now for some magic! Bro, what he's about to say scared me so bad when I first played through it. You'll see, it scared me so bad. What? Maybe there's still one more left. Let's see, we've got the earth, wind, water, and fire. Artifact, that's all four, so I guess we're missing something. Oh yes, of course, the gate's still here. So why don't we just open it? Good, therefore, open the gate! Yes, 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 open the gate, we do it already. That's pretty much, I thought, I was like, bro, if there's another stage where I have to get another artifact, I'm gonna be so pissed. But really, they're just being dinguses. That was a good troll, though, I actually laughed at that part. That was like, one of the better humor parts in the game. Let's see if I can do this on the first try, I should be able to. It's not a hard boss fight, like I said, but for whatever reason. They messed me up while I was playing earlier. How do I roll again? I would not roll there for... Oh, it's because I'm targeting him. Okay. There you go. Not looking good, boys. This isn't the boss fight, though. Go! Whoa, 
Oh, we die, we should. Cal, I'm glad to see you. Listen, this is this big fiery monster in the next room. I think he's causing all the problems on the island. You've got to do something about him. But don't forget about me either. Seriously, it's hot in here. Hi, right, bro. I'll try not to forget about you, but you're pretty forgettable. I've only seen you in like two scenes of this game. Which basically, you're the whole reason I had to suffer. Okay, we didn't do it on the first try because my parachute went out. Boy, let me tell you about that parachute. Mm, piss me. Uh. Alright, if we can make the jump this time, let's not use the parachute because fuck the parachute. Obviously. Ah, I use the parachute anyways, I lie. But you'll see how to do the boss here. He's not hard, I promise. He's only hard for me because I'm dumb and drunk. Ish. But you kill these enemies, right? That's all you really have to do. You kill the enemies. Man. He's gonna do this attack that has like a super tiny hitbox. For what it looks like. Like that looks like a high range attack, right? It's not. You barely have to jump to dodge it. And then he raises the platforms up. You only have to hit him three times too, which is kind of shocking. I thought it'd be more than that. Don't jump on the platforms until they turn not red. And then, you get to this platform, and then you start throwing dynamite, you pin his hands to the ground, and you grab this barrel over here, and you hit him with it. And that's all you really have to do, which is like, you see what I'm talking about by like, lazy boss fight? Like, there's only one in the whole game, and they made him so lazily, he's not even as good as like, the first boss on the first game. Like, it's really bad. I did die a lot here because I kept rolling into lava and whatnot, so I guess I can't say too much. I was kind of like impatiently trying to do it quick, so I kept rolling into lava. But you know, just how the cookie crumbles, I guess. Okay. Now he'll do it again, and it's just same thing. Same thing, different day. Same thing, same day, actually. Because it doesn't take long. Oh, please let this game have recorded. Please. Like this all mess. This one, you can even, like, if you want to be sneaky, I did this the first time. You just jump over there. And you kill yourself. That's what you do. You kill yourself. But you could skip a platform if you do it right. I didn't do it right, but now I'm too scared to do it. To be honest with you, I don't want to die. Again, I already died once on accident, but make sure you're straight on with him too, because even if you hit his mouth from an angle, sometimes it won't register, so you might as well just hit him straight on. Because you don't even have to hit him in the mouth to be honest, it just hits him. Really weird. His like little chin has like its own eyeball face for some reason. Doesn't have like any significance. You see how it's really easy to roll into the lava? I almost did it there, like for real. That would have killed me on my last playthrough. Just because the game hates me. You gotta be careful with enemies too, because they're very prone to knock you into the lava for no reason. So, be careful about that. We win, right? Oh, he's still alive. Now we win. So this part... He tries to get tricky with you, right? Though, so, you know what's funny is this fire doesn't even blow up that barrel. I don't even know if it has a hitbox. It does, it does. I'm pretty sure it does. But you have to go on... You have to go two different paths on the platforms to hit him. Which is not actually tricky, but... Let the game have its moment, I guess. I guess you gotta dodge more of these attacks, at least. And he's having an asthma attack, so you just go over here and finish him. 
Mortal Kombat style, unless you miss a jump, and then you just go back and do it again, because he doesn't ever seem to recover. That I know of. And I missed it again, I don't really know why I'm missing it, but, okay. Not making the jump right, that's why I'm missing it. Okay, now he's pinned, so there's no way he's getting up now. He's like, oh, sh wow, my hand, why would you do that to me? You wily kangaroo. Honestly, this jump isn't that hard to make, e as I'm making it look, but it's... You got a part in my, uh, alcoholic -ness. Okay. And then we beat the game, that easily. I wonder how long it took us. Probably an hour and something. He's like, oh man, my hands, what a dick. And then he seeps into the lava with no name. A man with no name. Smoking cow, you saved me in the island. You're so awesome. Now let's get out of here. Yeah. Now we just sit here and the game's over. You get credits, I guess. We'll talk to all the people. You can talk to all the people and they'll tell you, good job, man. That's it. That's all they tell you. You can redo the races if you want to. I would not recommend it, but you can. And you can probably get all the credits, too. And then I'll save and see if anything else, like, percentage-wise came up. But if you stop watching here, thanks for watching, as always. And if you could, please like and subscribe. But... Fantastic! Glowtech's been saved, and so has our island. Thank you, kangaroo. You've proven yourself a true hero. The tree doesn't talk to you for whatever reason. I don't know why. The tree was like the best character in the game. But yeah. Thanks for watching. If you could, please like and subscribe. And uh, I'll tell you bye whenever I finish this. <laughs> There's only two more people to talk to, so. Can I ride the airplane? You think? To end the game? Cause the, yeah, I didn't do that last time. Let's do that. Maybe I can't. I don't know. Congratulations. Oh, congratulations, Gratuluye. brave kangaroo! I don't remember what his voice was, so I just got all. Of... <laughs> Let's see if we can ride the airplane off of here, but I don't think we can. We got the credit, so we're pretty much done. I think the airplane will just start the mini game, but we'll see. Just to be safe, to make sure I didn't miss anything. I don't know where my buddy is though. Yes, them stupid I'm proud of you, my friend. Thank you, dude. That's all they say. Well, let's see if we can get in the airplane and drive off, but I don't think we can. Look at all these fishies. Okay, yeah, just a mini game. All right, can I kill myself? No, 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 I'm done with this shit. Alright, let's see if we got more of a percentage now. Ah, whatever. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching, as always. That's the full game, as far as I know. Bah! Even though it says 94%, I don't know why it says that. We beat the game. At record speed! <laughs> Please, let's say it recorded. Love God.